It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom of the one around with this part of our culture, you gotta be fly Well flowing with the Air Forces, put that shit on to the day that I die Nikes over Adidas, that's straight What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the sneaker dungeon, y'all. Today, long away the sneaker, man. Uh, this one right here, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you guys. If I hadn't hit for retail, I wasn't paying resale for this shoe. Um, this one right here was one that I wanted. I wanted to get my hands on it, but it just was not worth the paying over retail for in my eyes. It's still a really nice sneaker. A lot of people probably would say it's probably one of the best of the retros to release this year in this specific colorway. But before we jump all the way into it, y'all hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell if you guys are new to the channel. Smash a like on the video for your boy. Go ahead over to Instagram, follow your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, as well as over on TikTok. Now let's jump straight into it. Yeah! The Nike box. I've already looked at the shoes because they came in yesterday and yeah, I always do videos, even if the shoes already came out, y'all know I'm going to drop a video for it because I like to get my own thoughts and opinions on the sneaker. And this one right here, man, like I said, I wouldn't have paid over retail for these if I hadn't a hit. I was going to go ahead and be like, man, I'm going to take this as an L and they're going to give me my money back because I still didn't get the shoe. And y'all already know when they got hit up in Memphis, they took the Memphis 11s, Memphis 6s, you know what I'm saying? This slowed down the process of all these shoes getting shipped out. So it took a hot little minute for me to get these bad boys. But so right here it says on the box, Air Jordan 6 Retro Magnet College Navy. Size 10 and a half for, for me. You already know how I rock when it come down to the sixes. And I got these bad boys for just a little bit under retail. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Nike. And uh, yeah, man, this is one that... Like I said, it was not worth it in my eyes to pay over retail for these. And I mean, they sat in some places, but I never went to the mall to go check. And we in there! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, y'all. Here we have the Georgetown Sixes. I mean, nothing too crazy to say about this sneaker. One thing that stands out to me is actually the upper and the suede material that they use on these. It's actually pretty decent, man. And it's actually another shoe that I hit on that I'll be doing a video on that I got the same day I got these. I'll drop that video probably tomorrow or the day after. But um, yes, I wish that they had did that particular shoe in this type of material. But it came out, I was a little disappointed in the way that the upper was on that shoe. But right here, you guys can see, we got that navy with that magnet gray down there on the bottom and that translucent sole. Then on the midsole, you get a hits with that navy and that magnet gray again. Of course, that ice pick a boom from the bottom of the sneaker as well. Then the entire upper getting hit with this nice suede material. You do have a little bit of a 3M type effect right here inside the holes of the sneaker on the inner and outer panels and also up here at the top right around where the ankle is and of course gray laces no extra laces when it comes to these you do have that navy blue jump man right there going up navy blue jump man on the back with the air and the spoiler in that navy blue and then you have the gray magnet gray jump man right there on the lace log you have that magnet gray sock liner navy blue insole with the magnet gray jump man it's a decent shoe. Is it something that I would say that I feel like if you're into collecting certain retros because you want to have that lineup, then by all means, this is definitely one to have. I like gray sneakers. I really wanted to just see what these were like in hand. And the thing was is that, you know when you want to cop a shoe, but you a little bit, you, you know, sometimes you get that FOMO. And this was one of those ones that when I saw them, I was like, man, I do not want to miss on those. But then over the time with taking so long with me getting the shoe, I was kind of like, it is what it is, man. Give my money back. I'm cool with it if I don't get them. But you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that they did eventually show up. But this is one of those shoes if you're into collecting like lineups. It was definitely a must have. Now when it comes to the lineups, this is what I'm talking about. You have the Georgetown 3s. I'm missing the Georgetown 1s that came out. And I'm also missing the Georgetown 11s. I totally regret passing on those 11s back in the day, man. I really, really, I don't, I had a chance to get them, man. And I could have got them for retail and I just passed on them. And of course, 
We've been getting a lot of Georgetown colorways. The threes, I still think that the threes and the ones might be one of my favorite. I think, honestly, I would say the sixes might be the least to me, man. I think the ones, the threes, the elevens, and then these, man. If I probably put them in an order, I'm, I'm just guessing off the top of my head. If I had them all sitting here right in front of me, it'd probably be a little bit better. But because if I had to choose between these two, I'd definitely pick the threes over the sixes. I feel like the threes just, they give, they look a whole lot better. I like the, I like the way that they put the three together with having more colors other than just other than me just getting the subtle hits of the actual navy on the shoe but yes man comment down below let me know what you guys think about these bad boys was this a cop or a drop for you guys we're gonna go ahead and spin some pictures for you guys just a quick little video for you guys today over these shoes and i mean y'all let me know what y'all think was this a must have for you guys was this one that you know did you have shipment problems with this shoe if you hit off a of nike or was this an easy pass for you because there's so much other things that are coming out that you just feel like are a whole lot more heaters than these right here because i mean it's a solid sneaker don't get me wrong but it's something that i feel like the hype was there with them but then I don't know, man. Like I said, missing out and not getting them as fast as I thought I was going to get them and thinking that I wasn't going to get the shoe because something happened with Nike, because something happened with Nike, it was an easy one for me to just be like, you know what? It is what it is. But it is your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. Quick little video. Y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Head over to Instagram, follow your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. I'm going to go ahead and spin some pictures for you guys. Peace, love, and Laguna Beach, and we out this thing. Get it! It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I got a lace up these black cement threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go out, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit forever I'm putting you down.